Rightio folks, welcome back to the Backyard Grill. My name is John Mattioli. Um, today, again, I'm going on the um, back of the Weber pages and the barbecue pages, which oh. I follow. <laughs> um, a lot of people are coming on board these uh, Weber clubs and asking for their first cook, what's a good cook to do. So I'm gonna give you a ripper. This is really, really a good one to start with. It'll introduce you to the fire. It'll, it is, no stress with temperature controls because it's basically just one hour cook, 45 minute cook. What I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a spatch, spatchcock chicken um, brined. Now you don't have to do the brining part, but I will show you because it's so simple. Um, a lot of people hear the word spatchcock and they don't know how to do it or they think it's hard. Basically we're gonna cut the backbone out and we'll lay it flat. Um, I think personally it cooks so much more evenly, quicker, um, and brining it just gives you that extra tenderness, extra flavour, moisture, it's beautiful. So what we'll do, first of all, get yourself your chook, spin it over like that so you've got your backbone here. And all we're going to do is get your scissors and you're just going to run your scissors along that backbone. Okay, just keep running it across that backbone until we get to the end. And then you do the same on this side. Get yourself some good scissors. These ones are playing up a little bit. That's scary. Scary? Yeah. So basically, we pull out the backbone, okay? And we put that away. If you want to make a soup with that or you want to do whatever you want, you can. What we're going to do then is you open that up and just in here, there's like a little cartilage in there. Get yourself a knife and just go like that, okay? Simple. That's spatchcock, okay? So all we do now is flatten that down, okay? So that's basically it. Now you can go ahead and cook that as it is without brining. You can put your herbs, salt, peppers, oils, whatever you want to do. This time around I'm going to show you how to brine it, okay? So what we're going to do now is you get your chook like that and we're going to put it in our water, like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put, you can, this is the part where you want to try, you want to put some herbs or, or bits and pieces you want to do. We're gonna just put salt, pepper, okay? Mm -hmm. Salt, pepper, a few cloves of garlic. Okay? So, and maybe one sprig of rosemary. Okay? Now that there is gonna sit, leave it, that's, that's gonna sit, if you've got the time, try to do that the night before. I'm not gonna cook this till tomorrow, okay? So that's gonna sit like that for a night. <clears throat> If you've got half a day, not too bad. Try to do 24 hours, you can go up to two days. Probably, you know, overnight is perfect, is what I usually do. Um, if you haven't got more than sort of three hours, don't do it. Um, so that'll sit now like this, and it's gonna absorb all that, all those flavors. It'll become so tender, so the moisture will be really, really, you, you can tell the difference by brining a chicken, okay? So we're gonna put that away now. We're gonna sit that in the fridge overnight and we're gonna be back tomorrow. We'll pull that out, we'll dry it all up. We'll show you the next step. We'll get out to the fire, we'll have some fun out there. Um, so yeah, we'll see you then and hit the next step. See you soon. Rightio folks. Now, this chicken's been brining all night. Um, so we're ready to go. What I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna film this. I'm just gonna drain this water, pat it all dry. Um, and then we're going to get back to you and we'll start prepping this chicken for the fire. So that's pretty much what we're looking like at the moment. All those um, flavours now we've absorbed and uh, we're ready to go. So I'll drain all this water, keep the video down and we'll see you soon. Rightio, we're back. We've taken out the chook now. We've dried it, we've pat dried. I just saved you that couple of minutes of video. So that's all nice and dry now. Um, a lot of people don't season this side, I do the whole lot, so what I'm going to do now, some people use oil at this stage, I use garlic butter. I just try to pack as many flavours as I can, hang on, I just try to pack as many flavours as I can on it, on everything. So basically, we're going to give this a bit of a rub with garlic butter. No. Oh, but you put salt and pepper on there. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on that. Okay, so not too fussy about the bottom, but we still do it. Right, we're gonna spin that over. Same again. Put a garlic butter the skin. 
This will also give you a nice colour and it'll give you flavour, colour, and it's a binder for all these herbs. Also, get your finger or a butter knife and open up this skin cavity here where your breast is and also season that. Put some in there, put a bit of rosemary in there. Okay, now what we're going to do, same on the top. I'm going to put a good hot, get my assistant to give me a bit of a hand there. We're getting messy here. Alright, so salt, pepper. No more, no more, no more, no more of that. No more of that. Try to do this without a four year old with you. Okay. I'm going to put some rosemary on it. Alright, that's enough, that's, that's enough, mate. Okay, that's enough buddy. Okay, now we've got a drip tray. We also got a drip tray that's gonna be underneath. Some people just use a drip tray. You might as well go the whole hog and make a meal out of it. So instead of just doing the chicken, you got chicken and veg, you make it a meal, okay? Now, because this is a quick boil, uh, a quick cook, this will probably beat that. So I've part boiled these for about 15 minutes just to get a little bit of a head start and then this, you know, all cooked together. Trying to get this timing sometimes can be a bit tricky, okay? Um, on a rotisserie, they usually work out the same, but because this is hot and fast, you're gonna find that, you know, they, they won't be up. So that's been part boiled now for about 20 minutes, let's say. So same again on this one here. We're gonna put a bit of olive oil in here. Okay, same old. Salt and pepper. All right, salt, pepper. Pretty much the same ingredients that go on that, go on this, enough Hudson. Give that a bit of a shake. Okay. <laughs> Keep me this straight. All right, no more. So that's prepped, okay? So we've got our veggies ready as a drip tray. That's gonna sit over the top in direct. All the juices will flow into that, all cooked together. You've got yourself a beautiful meal. This is very optional if you want to do this. I do it only on mine because it's the way I like it. This is beautiful as it is like that. Sometimes I'll just get a bit of my favourite rub, and I'm talking a real light sprinkle, just to give you that extra little bit of a kick. And that is it, okay? That's your cook ready to go. We're going to go outside, I've got a jug of um, charcoal going at the moment. Once that's all set, we're going to bring this outside, we'll get out there, we'll have a bit of fun on the fire. And uh, that's pretty much it. That'll all cook on its own now. No checking, no lifting lids. 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to have that and that all ready. Um, and another good thing about spatchcocking, once this is done, basically you're just going to cut there, cut there, cut there, and you've got yourself a chook that's all split up. When you're doing a whole, it becomes a bit of a tricky one to cut up. So basically you cut that skin straight down there, and you're done. Alrighty, so we'll see you outside in the in the sun today. It's a nice day out there. We're gonna get the fire cranked and we'll go for it. See you soon. Alrighty. One full jug, three, oh, three quarters full. Okay, we're almost there. What we're gonna do, we've got our stuff here. Biggest tip I can give you is be prepared like I always say. Have everything ready so there's no mucking around with these two clowns. All right, back in a sec, we'll fill up and we'll get going. Rightio, got our charcoal, basically one basket. No step on that. Whoops! Okay. Right, veggies, grill. Okay, put our chook now. You can, um, I'm gonna just spill a, an argument here. This could go on and on and on through the pages. Briquettes, charcoal. In my personal opinion and all the experience I've got with it, I've got two reasons. Low and slow, I'll go briquettes, hot and fast, charcoal. That's gonna give you an extra bit of flavor, smoky flavor. So um, that's, that's just my rule of thumb. Low and slow, briquettes, hot and fast, charcoal. All right, so we're gonna put our chook on top like so. 
temp gauge. If you haven't got any sort of temp gauges, half an uh, 45 minutes to an hour, you should be okay. So I'm gonna probe this, okay? I'm gonna go for a target of 165 Fahrenheit. I usually go 165, 170. So once that hits 170, we know we're done. That's loaded now. Lid goes on, vents open top, vents open bottom. No more lifting now. As soon as that hits temp, that's done. Right, that's why it's such a simple cook now. We're just gonna rely on this digital uh, thermometer there. Um, and that's it. So no lid comes off from this point onwards. If you're looking, you're not cooking. So that's it for now. We'll see you in about 45 minutes or now, and, and we'll check it out then and go there. All right, we hit 168, which is fine by me. There you have it. Beautiful, ready to go. We're gonna take the probe out, we're gonna bring it inside, and we'll carve it up. See you soon. Radio folks, that's it, we're done. That's our finished product. It's a beautiful little simple dish that is quick and easy and effective. All right, come back in a sec and we'll show you the carver. Okay, as you saw, finished product. Um, I hope I inspired a couple of the guys and girls on the on the um, barbecue pages to give something like that a go. I like to target the beginners because when I was first starting off, I was getting overwhelmed with all the hard cooks. Start off with things like that. You'll get better and better as you go along. You just start to work out temperatures. This one here is so good because you don't have to worry about nothing other than just putting a lid on it and go for it. Um, follow, follow the step by step. Uh, this one took about an hour and 15, a little bit bigger of a bird, usually an hour, but um, this one went about an hour and 15. Uh, again with the veggies, very hard to time it, so it's all cooked in one hit, okay? Make sure you part boil them at least halfway, because then everything will cook in one hit. Um, so that's pretty much it, I'll just show you. beautiful and tender that is. That is just unbelievable. Juicy. Oh. That's your guy cut that right where that melted butter was under the skin. It is so soft, juicy, beautiful. Um, so yeah, please give it a shot um, and go from there and just slowly, slowly get yourself going. Build yourself up um, to get into the bigger cooks and the longer cooks. Um, again, I hope it inspired someone to give it a crack. Um, subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment if something that's helping you or if you need any advice I'll throw some comments back at you. Um, so until the next video, we're going to have a nice good old feed of that. Uh, we'll catch you maybe next weekend. See you then. Happy grilling.